Powerhouse, presented by Alliant Energy. The wiring in many older houses is out of date. It simply wasn't designed to handle electrical needs that we have today with multiple TVs, computers, and our high-tech electronics. Some problems are simple inconveniences, while others can be serious safety hazards. Today we're here at a house that was built in the 1940s where the wiring is being brought into the 21st century. And here to show us some things to keep in mind as we update our wiring is Tim Rood from Rood Electric Service. And Tim, how widespread a problem is this? It's a fairly widespread problem. Most people, they, when their houses need painted, new siding, uh, that's not something that, uh, it's something that's visual and they can see and can take care of. A lot of our stuff is kind of behind the scenes and uh, it gets overlooked. Some of the houses even in the area only have 120 volt systems ran to them. Okay, and we're trying to get up to a 240 volt system? That's correct. Uh, How do you know? Uh, the easiest way to see is just on the outside. Just a quick visual check will usually tell you. On the outside, uh, most 120 volt systems are just going to have two wires connecting to the power source. Uh, the 240 systems are going to have three. Now, what are older homes? What are some of the common electrical problems that you see? Uh, misusing misuse of the panels themselves. Uh, the owners actually putting too big of a fuses in, uh, trying to compensate for other underlying problems or bypassing the fuses altogether, and that can be a very dangerous situation. Now outside here, I know you're going to be putting the ground, the service underground? In this particular project here, uh, they're resiting the house, really doing a, an update on the outside of the house. Uh, the conduit and the service on the exterior was starting to rust, starting to show its age, and so in, along with the, the upgrade, we're actually going to have the wiring installed underground to the house. How about, uh, as I look around here, you have a lot, number of things that you're going to be tackling, right? Yes, we've got uh, the house through the years has had different updates with the kitchen uh, and we're, we're going to be cleaning up some of the Romex that's ran across the basement and just updating the basement as much as we can. Now on Powerhouse, Tim, we often talk about ground fault circuit interrupters, GFCIs. I know you'll be installing those here. Yes, talk to us a little bit about GFCIs. Uh, GFCIs are there for the homeowner's protection. Uh, we're required to install them around kitchens, bathrooms, garages, anything on the exterior, and a lot of the areas of the unfinished areas of the basements downstairs. Uh, they really are there for their protection. The, the GFCIs monitor the amount of electricity that's going to the appliance and also coming back to it. And if there's a fluctuation in that, if someone, if there were the user got in between those and, and is there for the potential of a shock, the GFCI monitors that and in just a fraction of a second shuts electricity off. Safety first, right? Absolutely. Now as I look around here, I know the, the old panel back here with the colored fuses that's going to go out that's going to go that's uh only about a 100 amp panel and uh, for a house this size we're going to put a 200 amp panel in we're going to get rid of the sub panel the main fuse panel that was there uh, we're going to clean up the basement drive some new ground rods outside jumper the water meter do uh, all the requirements that are that are necessary to bring it into into the 21st century now yeah i know you're doing a lot and it requires professionals this is something we should leave to professionals Tim. absolutely absolutely uh, we have to work in conjunction with the power company the city uh, and we want to make sure that it's done right you want to make sure you've got qualified, licensed contractors coming in and doing the work for you. Well, Tim, we're going to let you get to work here, and I appreciate your great information. You know, older homes have a lot of charm, but they also have some hidden dangers. Take the time to take a look at your wiring and make sure that it meets all of your electrical needs, and most importantly, that it's safe.